Hey, welcome back to this mini lecture on data relationships. This is a relation be relationship between various pieces of data that you may encounter. So there's seven main types, nominal, comparison, time series, correlation, ranking, deviation, distribution, and part to whole relationships. I'll deal with them number one through seven. First is nominal comparison. This is a simple comparison of the quantitative values of uh, different subcategories. For example, you can compare uh, the number of visitors to different websites to see how they compare. Number two is called time series. This will help track changes in values of a consistent metric over time. For example, if you're trying to measure monthly sales, you might want to track how they vary from month to month. Number three, correlation. Correlation that deals with data with two or more variables. And what you're looking for is how the variables may demonstrate a positive or negative correlation to each other. So for example, you might see the relationship between educational level and salaries. And, you know, presumably higher education level, higher salary, and the reverse. But who knows? Number four, ranking. That's where you show how two or more variables compare to each other in relative magnitude. For example, historic weather patterns, where you might want to rank the hottest to coldest months to see how they compare. Number five is deviation. This examines how different data points relate to one another. Uh, it's particularly how far any given, given data point differs from the mean or the average. For example, you may be looking at, you, or you hold, you run an amusement park you might want to check the, the number of tickets sold on a rainy day versus regular day and see how a variable like rain might change um, sales. Number six, distribution. This uh, shows the different data distribution of various points, often around a central value such as mean, median, or mode. For example, you might see how um, player heights vary on a basketball team. Finally, number seven, part to whole relationships. That's where you compare a subset of data to the larger whole. For example, the percentage of customers purchasing a specific product. Compare that one product to all of the other products. So again, the seven relationships of data, nominal comparison, time series, correlation, ranking, deviation, distribution, and part to whole relationships. See you next time. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.